If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Bring my spirits up. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. Hi guys, it's been a long time since we've done a walk and talk, I've been so busy, speaking of yard sales, hmm. oh my gosh that rose right there is so pretty, I wish I could go smell it, it's so gorgeous, huge, oh that's not a rose, <laughs> sorry it's early in the morning, that's like some kind of <laughs> hibiscus kind of thing. Speaking of early in the morning, so here we go. What does it say on the corner there? Colleen Martin. So my son has a farm, as many of you know. I used to work the harvest up there two days a week. And now I help on Saturdays when he needs me to do uh, bring one truckload of the uh, microgreens over to him. He has a vehicle and then that one day a week he uses one of our vehicles and so I didn't, I slept what, hmm, three hours last night. If anyone has insomnia, you guys know, and I don't know when this is going to post, but in my real life time right now, I'm covering the uh, Kristen Smart case and that takes a big chunk of time. First, I gotta find the research, then I gotta put the script together, then I gotta get the slides together, actually do the voiceovers, get it edited, and then the dreaded wait forever for it to load, and your phone's saying it's full, and so you delete a million things, and then you do it again, and then YouTube takes four days to... So anyway, it's a labor of love. I'm not gonna quit, even though it's been super challenging. Pretty flowers there. She's worth it. So what I, I'm walking, I just dropped off the load of greens at the farm where his booth is today on Saturdays. Halcyon Farms, if anybody's local here. They've got organic uh, produce galore, fresh baked bread from locals. And sometimes a mushroom guy is there. Uh, you name it. And... I've noticed now that we have a few more people watching and some oddities coming out of the woodwork, which I knew, which is why I never want to be viral. Not that the art content would be it's silliness, but it's not what we want. If I had a hundred people who watch on a regular basis that like really enjoyed the content and were supportive, that's plenty enough for me. I don't actually need anybody, but especially when you're talking about a murder case, it's you know, I'm making the content so other people know the truth and the ugliness and why we need justice and how things went down according to the evidence. And but most of our content is just everyday stuff. And when we were encouraged to start the channel, um, the very first comments all said, what we love is it feels like we're right there with you. And that's how I feel too, it's weird. Like now that I have people's names in my head that are supportive of the channel like I think of them by name and of course all my friends and family that do watch um, they're always in my mind too when we're doing this so anyway just gonna mosey on down and it is uh, mid-September we're prepping for our fall vacation we go every fall for celebrating I love these uh Potato plant trees, I think they're called. They're so beautiful. Purple's my favorite color, just like Kristen's. I gotta be honest though, when you tell too many people your favorite color, <laughs> there's parts in your life where you get, like I was purpled out. Like people wouldn't buy anything for me unless it was purple. And I mean, even if you love something, <laughs> too much can be too much. There goes a officer there, protecting us on the daily, I'm sure. Is this a tomato? Uh, okay, 
extra stuff. I love things like this. This is a tomato plant that I'm sure they don't want growing on this side of the fence, but it is because it's gonna do what it wants to do because it's nature. There's some pretty pink, pink roses in there. Can't smell those either. <laughs> if that's their house, they're probably wondering what in the world I'm doing. You never know with me. So yeah, my point in saying that it's mid-September is there's still like color pop in here. California's been going through heat waves with tri triple digits. It was like 120 degrees in Sacramento. My hometown of Napa, 117 degrees. Multiple days in a row. It's too hot. When I went back, I had to visit my hometown for family stuff. Uh, April and June. We went in June. Oh my gosh, there was a day there that was so hot that I was like, oh my, this is part of why I'm glad I don't live here. I'm good on Napa. I don't want to do a whole Napa bash because that's not cool, but this is why I love this little city I live in. It uh, reminds me of my hometown of Napa. When I was little, there was orchards and prunes and walnuts and peaches and, you know, neighborhoods. When I go there now, every what was a field is now a mini mall and I don't know it's just weird it doesn't I don't even long for home unfortunately uh, because oh I think this one's an avocado tree maybe uh, maybe not because it's a magnolia above it's more likely a should do a magnolia huh. So anyway, yeah, I do have some friends and family there. That's the only thing that draws me back to Napa for sure. But there's a saying for that town that, like, when you leave, you always come back. Mm, never say never, but I hope not. Ooh, I like, here's a hot rod. I love them. He's going to open it up, probably. You saw me taking him. <laughs> oh, he didn't, he didn't want to open it up. <laughs> Yeah, we love where we live, but California's too expensive. Oh, during the heat waves, by the way, of course, you know what happens. The grid doesn't work, and people are without electricity, and it's hot for them. So we're in a drought. We have grid problems. <laughs> it's too hot. We're always on fire, thanks to PG&E. Look it up. That's a rant that I could really go on, but I will not. I will just say this. If you like research, and if you want to see, like, obvious corruption corporate government collusion whatever the hell you want to call it without even digging deep do some research on all the damage that pg &E has done including deaths going way back there was a judgment by a san bruno judge that said uh because there was like several people i don't want to quote the number of people that died in that gas land explosion because I'm going off of memory here and I don't want to misquote. Several people died. It was completely the fault of PG&E, the lack of maintaining their stuff, as it always is with them. The judge said if one more bad thing happens, where one more person's hurt, or if one more person dies, you're basically done. And there was talks about, oh, we're going to get a new energy company because they're a monopoly. Ugh, I don't like PG&E. So, um... There has been, I, you would have to count in your research in California, fire after fire after fire after fire, year after year after year after year. My hometown of Napa was one of the places that burnt. The area I raised my kids up at the lake, we lived in three homes there before we built our home. Well, we lived in two and then built ours. The two we lived before burnt to the ground. Somehow our home that we built lasted. I mean, we'd sold it years ago. But, um... Yeah, and nothing happens. And so these last two fires, there was one in Weed, California. A couple of people died, I think. And then one closer to like Placer area. I don't think anybody's died there, but homes destroyed. And so far the beginning of the rumblings are that it is a most likely pg &E equipment failure. And no one's standing behind what the judge said. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to turn it into that. But I noticed there's a yard sale here. I don't do yard sale episodes really anymore. Oh, she's got succulents, so. Let's go see what the yard sale has. Succulents. 
Now that we have plenty. Hmm. Cute. Really good. Clothes and shoes and stuffed animals. Pretty picture. Very peaceful. Like no wall space. Oh, that's interesting. Clothes. Where our trip is going to be in the mountains. Flannels are always good for that. Which side is it? Small? Okay, it's still fit. Cute. I'll be back. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> so, I found some treasures. I had to go get my rolling cart and my money because I wasn't expecting a yard sale. <laughs> so I'm going back to get it. Um, the lady speaks Spanish, so she was trying to tell me the number 13. And I thought she was saying 30, but we worked it out. I wish I knew how to speak Spanish. Super helpful in California. You can get better jobs and it's just good to be able to communicate with other people. I'm muy, muy, muy porquito espanol just from like working with people that speak Spanish. So it's super basic. So I'm not going to show you everything I got because sometimes there's surprises for people. But when I get back, I will show you a couple things because one of them is kind of scary and Halloween's coming up. So I might fall in that theme a little bit. And then I got some good outdoor clothes for like the hiking and the mountain stuff we're going to be doing. And then I got Bobby some shorts. And so you'll see, you'll see. I'm approaching her house now, so I'll be back. I got these guys. They're all brand new. They, they had tags still on them. Pretty awesome. And then I got this cute little shirt for me. Thought it might be cute with jeans. And then for our trip, this flannel thing for me for hiking. Bobby likes to dress up for Halloween while he works. And I thought this would be funny to be a referee and give him a whistle and a hat. <laughs> um, and then I got three pairs of shorts for him. Work shorts and then two shorts maybe for the trip. And then in the other room I have two more items that I'm not going to show you right now. And so yeah, all that for $13. Oh, there's actually four items in the other room. Oh, and most importantly, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. How silly. This scary thing. Here, let me reach it. The lady showed me how to work it because I couldn't figure it out. Let's see if I can do it. So it's this little unicorn. It looks, you know, innocent enough until you squeeze it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what my dog does. Watch its face. <laughs> Ow. She wants to attack it, I think. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so that's the haul from the surprise yard sale. I might just give that to the dog. Funny. <laughs> Bye. If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Thanks for watching. Bring my spirits up. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix. 